is because the resistance is smaller in the top wire, making it easier for the charges to flow through. There is an inverse relationship between current and resistance. You can see it using the Ohm's law. An inverse relationship? Sounds hard. Please explain the equation slowly. It's very easy. V is the voltage, I is the current, and R is the resistance. Remember this figure. To find out the voltage, hide V. You get IR. Voltage equals current times resistance. To find out the resistance, hide R. You get voltage over I. Resistance equals voltage divided by the current. To find out the current, hide I. You get V over R. Current equals voltage divided by resistance. Well, I don't remember discovering such an easy equation. Note what I'm saying. This equation means that the potential difference of two points on the circuit is relative to the current at those two points. The Ohm's law shows the relationship between the arbitrary resistance with the voltage and current. That is too much of a hassle. You can remember it as E as voltage. E flies on top because it stands for eagle. How's that? Anyhow, nowadays we use V instead of E because E can get confused with the symbol of energy. We need to find the voltage. V equals I times R. X equals 10 times 5. X equals 50 volts. We need to find the current. I equals V divided by R. Y equals 60 divided by 10. Y equals 6 amperes. We need to find the resistance. R equals V divided by I. Z equals 20 divided by 4. Z equals 5 ohms. Hello. I can solve these questions. These questions are a bit harder. Number 4. Find X. Add up the resistance inside the yellow dotted line to derive the resistance R. The resistors are in a series, so just add 10 plus 20 equals 30 ohms. I see. Then we can use Ohm's law. Voltage equals current times resistance. 5 times 30 equals 150 volts. Correct! Number 5. Find Y. have to add up the resistance in the yellow dotted line to get R. Resistance equals voltage divided by current. R equals 60 divided by 2. R equals 30 ohm. And Y plus 5 equals R. Y plus 5 equals 30. This means Y equals 25 ohm. Correct! Number 6. Find Z. A 
Again, think of the resistance within the yellow dotted line as R. Now, they are in parallel, so we need to add the reciprocals. 1 over R equals 1 over 20 plus 1 over 5. 1 over R equals 1 over 4. It's in reciprocal, so R equals 4 ohms. The current is voltage divided by resistance, so 120 divided by 4 equals 30 amperes. Correct! Did you understand Ohm's law? Hey. Different countries use different analogies to explain it. Wow! Current Voltage Resistance Model The flow of water is blocked. Resistance The height is voltage. The pump is the cell. The current is the amount of water flowing per second. Ohm's Law and Watt's Law The figure above shows power in watts.